Let's take a look at how to create and modify this mesh object. I'll start by selecting Southwest Isometric from the viewport controls to change to an isometric view. I can also click a corner of the view cube tool. Next I'll select the wireframe visual style from the viewport controls to make sure I can see all edges of the model. Now I'm ready to get started. To create my mesh object I'll start with a mesh primitive, in this case a mesh box. I'll draw the mesh box giving it a length, width, and height. Next I'll select the mesh box and from the right click menu I'll select smooth more. I'll repeat the smooth more command by pressing enter two more times to increase the smoothness of the mesh to level 3. Now I'm going to reshape the mesh object. I'll right click and select sub object selection filter, then face. I'll select the faces I want to edit and use the move gizmo. Notice the yellow highlight on the gizmo? This indicates whether the movement will be constrained along the X, Y, or Z axis. Next, I'll right click over the move gizmo and select rotate to add more curve to the object. Now the yellow highlight shows the plane of rotation. From the modeling toolset, I'll select crease to remove the smoothness from two faces and create sharp edges. Next, I'll right click and select Refine Mesh to increase the level of smoothness. To get a better idea of how my mesh will look, I'll change to the conceptual visual style. I'll hold down the Shift key and use a two-finger swipe on the trackpad to orbit around my mesh object.